Hello, everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI Ultimate Walkthrough, and let's begin by proceeding with the uh, story progress here. So there really is an island in the sky, just as Father Benedictus said. I wonder if he was right about there being something helpful here, too. Is that a temple of some sort? Well, there must be some reason we were brought here. Shall we go and find out what it is? Okay, so I have no idea where we are, but let's check the sparky spots. We have one. So we do have one sparky spot. Let's head up these stairs and let's go grab it. And it was right around here. This is uh, the only item here. Here it is. Colorful cocoon. Oh man, how many of those have we got already? Okay, so let's head around here now and enter this uh, temple. We can see you, you know. Come out from behind there. Huh? <gasps> what is it? Ah, oh, it's you! I'm of the Watchers. The Watchers? And what are they? Of course. Ground dwellers not snow. Not to know of us. We watch over Erdria. Watch for as long as Erdria exists. Well, what do you know? And what are you doing skulking behind a pillar, Mr. Watcher? This is home. Home of all of us. Once were many islands. Many watchers. But the attack came. Lord of Shadows. All crashed. Only this island remains. Only me. That's awful. Mortigan got to you guys too, huh? Sounds like you've been through a lot. Sorry if I was out of line just now. How come you survived anyway? And why did this place get left alone? This guiding light of yours sounds pretty special. Oh, we're here looking for a special something to help us defeat the Lord of Shadows. Do you think the guiding light might be it? Hmm, not no. It's not a weapon. Cannot defeat. Perhaps. Wish to help, but I'm only a child. Know little of world yet. Guess we'll just have to take a look for ourselves then, huh? Yes. But what are we going to do about our poor little friend here? Not worry. I'm fine. I'm Watcher. Story of Watcher's not over. You beat Lord of Shadows. Then World Tree returns. Cycle restored. Life and rebirth. Dead ones get new life. My brothers. My sisters, all begins again. Please, Luminary, succeed. Wait, you know who he is? Hmm. Okay, so let's continue forward here. And so holy. I feel purer just looking at it.
Wait, the mark! Light just gets squished down into that little thing? Alright, so we just acquired uh, the guiding light. Hmm? Oh, look! I sense something very special in them. I know this feeling. Yggdrasil. I think you should take a closer look, don't you? I have a feeling they have something rather important to show us. saw that too, right? Yes. That man. The mark on his hand. Oh. You don't think... <gasps> uh, aye, I do. And I have a feeling you've the same instinct, laddie, eh? That was Erdwin, the luminary of legend. I never thought I'd see him with my own eyes. So those were the original heroes? The ones who defeated the Dark One way back when? The more we know about them, the more chance we have of finding out how they beat him, right? Ah, you're not wrong. Let's see what those other seedlings have to show us, shall we? See the size of that hammer? Was it just me or did it seem special somehow? It was no weapon, that much is certain. A forging hammer, if I am not mistaken. But what were they forging? I wonder. Well, I think we all know where they were at least, don't we? Let's see if the last seedling makes things any clearer. I know that view. I'm sure of it. So if I understand what we saw correctly, they found some ore and a hammer, then went up a mountain and forged a sword. <gasps> Wait, of course. The Sword of Light. Indeed. They would not have gone into battle with the Dark One unarmed. Yes, that's the power we need. That's how we'll drive the darkness from the world. But Mordigan took it, right? Unless... Are these visions trying to say we need... Yeah, that must be it. 
We need to make our own Sword of Light, just like the old heroes did. All right, we've got ourselves a plan. Not much of a plan, but we'll just have to fill in the gaps as we go. Let's start by paying a visit to the places we saw in those visions. I'm betting we'll find some more clues there. Aye. It looked like they found that ore on another one of these floating islands. I reckon we'll need to have a word with our wee pal about that. And that was Galopolis in the vision where they had the hammer, right? Maybe the Sultan knows something. <gasps> oh, and I remember now. That mountain, it's the volcano near Hotto, isn't it? How could I forget? Oh, sounds like we're going on a wee world tour then. Hotto, Galopolis and uh, wherever that other island happens to be. It seems we're setting off on another adventure, Veronica. You'll be with us in spirit. I know it. All right, let's go to work. <clears throat> all right, guys, so once you're done viewing all those seedlings, let's head, head on out here. Anyone go looking for ore on a battleground? Mine was there. Mine of great ores. Great powers fought for ores. Great battle occurred. Great losses. Great pain. Victors took all. No ore. No more. Perhaps. Tale of centuries ago. Perhaps tale false. Perhaps all remain. Perhaps. Well, it can't hurt to go and have a look now, can it? Come on, you lot. If you forget purpose, if you need clues, come to me. Tales from Grandfather may help. Good luck. Okay, so now we can zoom to Galopolis. Okay, so we're gonna use Columbus's flute here and we're gonna go right back to the skies so we can enter the battleground. All right guys, so if I get to the battleground, we're just gonna keep heading south. Uh, we, I think we have to head all the way southwest. Let me see, this might be it here. This is it right here. Just, so just keep heading south from when you teleport from the sky. All right, here we are at the battleground. Now let's check Sparky Spots and you'll see that we do have one, but we're gonna have to touch this thing first and use the guiding light. Alright, once you clear a path, let's uh, start looking for treasure and sparky spots. So there's nothing to the left, so we'll just keep going all the way around and we're gonna grab the first sparky spot that we see right in front of us here. Is at the far corner. So we'll grab that. That's gonna be a Dracolite. 
and then we'll make our way all the way around these uh, stairs. Or this little path here, spiral path. Alright, so we're just gonna keep going down this spiral path here. There's another right path that we can go right through here. And there's really nothing here except for some enemies, so if you want to fight them. After you fought those things, if you've decided to fight them, upgrade your beast tree, head through this little crevice here, and we're gonna go down and fall into this hole right here. I'm gonna try and finish them up with water slash here. Okay, so I'm just gonna clear out the battle here. Oh, we got Serena level 51. Okay, so we want to head straight down this way. Just west, just continue west. Don't go down to the crevice. We're gonna grab this chest over here. And that's gonna give us a mini meadow. You can also fight these guys if you like, if you haven't got them in your beastry. Now we're gonna continue going this way. And I'm gonna make a right turn. And continue all the way down. And it should lead us to basement level 3. Okay, here we are. Basement level 3. I'm gonna make a right turn here. And we're gonna come to another treasure chest. We'll grab this. And a recipe book entitled... An Encyclopedia of Expert Equipment. Which we can make ogre shields, brigands mitts, titan belts. Alright, so let's head all the way back here. And we're gonna go all the way down here this time. Make a right turn just to check the path. Alright, so make sure you check the uh, the map for the sparkly spot so you can grab this mithril ore. It's the only mithril ore in level 3. And then we'll head all the way back to the uh, spiral section here. Alright, from the spiral section, go back to level 2. Uh, just all the way up to level 2 because I forgot to grab this sparkly spot here. So I'm just gonna grab this one. And that's Densinium, so if you, you don't have to grab it, but if you want it for completion purposes, then make sure you grab it. It was right after that it was right after we grabbed that treasure chest over there. And then we went down this way. And then we went down to basement level three where we got the mithril ore. So I'm just going all the way down right now. To my right was the mithril ore, and I'm just gonna go further down now. Further down now to level four. So now, as you can see, the top left, it says level 4. So let's just go this way, and there's another Sparky spot here. There's actually a lot of them, there's four of them in total. So I'm gonna go, I wanna grab this one first here. Smash it. With the pickaxe there. Grab Red Eye, Brighton Rock, and Brighton Rock. There's more we can grab, but first we're gonna make a right turn here and grab this treasure chest in front of us, and then we'll continue going down. Oh, that's the Pandora's box. This is another Mimic, a harder version of the Mimic, so it's an upgrade. All right, well, we'll start off with multi thrust here. And with Savando, we're gonna use him for buffing up. We're gonna use uh, Savando to buff up the main character. And I'll try sleeper hit first. Yeah, I didn't think it would take effect, but that's fine. We just gotta hope he doesn't um, insta kill us. So. Oh, he got a critical off on me though. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna try: great sword, sword dance, and not enough to finish him off, but that's fine. We'll try. We'll try normal attack. See if I get a critical hit off. Yes, critical hit. All right, there we go, and we all we get a seed of skill from that battle there. So I'm gonna go misc. I'm gonna use handy heal just to get some HP back. Now we're gonna go around, avoid these monsters, and make a right turn. This is the biggest dungeon so far that we've ever explored in the game up on this point here. I'm probably gonna kill that sparky monster here. Uh, something tells me I'll probably find it useful. There's a sunny citron and. Oh, there's another one. I'm gonna grab this one. I think there's another one up down this way. Yeah, there is. All right. So before we grab that, let's uh, grab a. I want to grab a dragon rider. I'm just gonna quickly finish him off with Warden Slash here, so we can uh, so I can ride this uh, dragon. All right. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so when you've mounted this thing, we're actually gonna go way back up. So just fly, fly up. Keep. Keep flying up until you get to B1, B2. Okay, so we want to keep flying above. 
until we see this uh, little ca cavern above B2. I'll show you. So we'll just keep flying up. On, on the top left, it's going to say the battleground level B2. You're going to fly right up here. You're going to descend. And we're going to grab his chest, which is a Pandora's box, and we're going to kill it again. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this guy off with Eric here. There we go. And we get a seated skill again. Okay, so I've healed my guys with some MP, Sages Elixir, and Magic Water. Remember how I said to buy lots of those Sages Elixirs? Well, they're gonna be very useful right here, right now. Okay, now, from level 2 here, we're gonna fly up to level 1 this time. And there's another cavern that we haven't explored. It's gonna have a sparky spot right here, so let's grab that. And that's a mithril, chunk of Mithril Ore, and now we've got every item here. So we're just going to descend all the way down to basement level 4 again. 3... and 4. Okay, so now we're back where we started with this dragon. And we don't need it no more, so we can get off it. And go under this little crevice here. Okay, so there's one sprockish... Oh, there's a campfire right here! So I could have healed myself right at the camp... Oh well. Well, I guess you guys know you don't have to use my <laughs> Sage's Elixirs and stuff right now. But I have a lot of them, so it doesn't, doesn't matter. Alright, let me check my forge here. Focus increases by 2, Master Stroke. What does that do? You've learned Hephaestus' Flame, which is a special forging move known as a Master Stroke. Every now and again, when you're hammering away, you'll have a flash of inspiration, which will allow you to lose this most incredible of abilities, but only once per forging session. After you use it, you'll get a message telling you you are prone for greatness, and any bash or forge will send the gauges soaring, but will stop them as soon as they reach the sweet spot. But be careful, it'll only last one turn. If you waste it on increasing the temperature or something else, that doesn't involve striking, you'll only have yourself to blame. Okay. Alright, so that seems pretty interesting. Is that like the last forge to learn? Alright, well, I'm, I'm gonna rest up and then I'm gonna save my game. Alright, so now we can teleport here, just so you guys know. And also you should craft some, some plus three equipments if you want. Alright, so you guys can start crafting here if you like. Right now, uh, I'm personally not going to start crafting, I'm just going to head up. And... Proceed with the uh, story progress. I want to get as much of the story over with as I can. There's Molten Globules. That you can also read this tombstone here. And we can now climb down this vine. All the way down to the bottom. As you see, we're skipping lots of levels. We're on level... all the way down to level 8. From climbing down that vine. But we can, we can make our way up to get the other levels after. So you don't have to worry about that. So let's head across here. Alright, once you've shimmied across here, we're, there's another tombstone right here. That you can read. And we're just gonna keep going all the way straight down. We should be coming up to some sparky spots and treasures. There's one sparky spot right in front of us. Right there. And it looks like there's a Puff Puff girl there, so we, we might be able to get the achievement now. L let's first grab this. Mirror Stone. Green Eye and Purple Eye. Now let me talk to her and see if she's a Puff Puff. Yes! Okay, get a Puff Puff from her. This might be the achievement. I think this is the last one. Where is she going? Is she, do I have to follow her all the way around? Where did she go? Holy crap. Why did you have to go all the way here? Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't be nervous now. Just relax. Ooh, you're so muscly. <laughs> Let me work out these knots. <laughs> what? Does that feel good? You'll tell me if it hurts, won't you? Okay, all done. You can open your eyes now. Time 
going to take the plunge, darling. Three, two, one! Puff, puff! Okay, that was the strangest puff puff ever. <laughs> hey, we got the achievement. Yeah, puff puff buff. A word for experiencing the pleasure of the puff puff in all its many forms. You guys should have that for PS4 and for PC. Alright, we're done with that. And for Switch or whatever console. Pretty sure it's all, they all have it. Okay, so let's grab this treasure chest over here. It might be another mimic? No. Recipe book, sacred styles for saintly ladies. Now we can make goddess tiaras, saints, saintess dresses. Okay, now we're heading all the way down this way where the puff puff was. And we're just gonna go all the way around this time, under this crevice. And there's a new enemy we can encounter, but first let's grab the sparky spots. Equivo emerald, and blue eye and a treasure chest hidden right under here which is a gate of evolution and let's fight it might as well upgrade the beast rate oh there's another new enemy in there too that i'm just gonna use eric to finish it off because it 1065 damage wow score one for the good guys jesus christ eric you're on freaking roids man didn't even use divide either. Oh, again, lots of the kamikaze. And dragon horn item. Okay, so now, once you've done all that, we're gonna head right up. And there's a locked door there. We're gonna have to teleport here after and, and open it. Oh, let's go through here. There's a chest. Or not a chest, but a tombstone. Okay, so you can read this tombstone here. Okay, from there, we're gonna head around this way. There's another crevice here that we can explore, but first I want to head all the way up here. And I just want to keep going up because there's a item that I haven't got yet. A Sparky Spot item. So I'm going to try and avoid these guys. There it is right here. Let's see what this is. Okay, so that's Molten Globules, so we can avoid all these guys. And this way. Let's get back on the spiral staircases here. Let me see what's over here really quick. Okay, so going around this way. Oh, we have a lot of new enemies. Let's grab this rocky spot. I'm gonna have to go right back down too. Alright, this gold nugget. Because there's some stuff I missed, so we're gonna have to go right back down after this. Then grab, not all the way down, but just a, a few steps down. I think it's like one level down, B6. I'm just grabbing all these broken spots around here. And this treasure chest right here. Which is a bad axe. Okay. Is that good for Henrik? Actually, it's really good for Henrik. Yeah, okay, so I'll give him the bad axe. Okay, I'm gonna go fight some new enemies here. Okay, so now I'm going all the way up. I've finished exploring, once you finish exploring that area. And we're gonna go with this parking spot is this time. All the way on B7. And grab this. Which is Dracolite. So now we're going all the way down. Uh, I don't know if there's anything up here. One second. There's another tombstone. Okay, we're not gonna keep going up. There's one crevice that we need to explore. So I'm just gonna go right down there. Explore that crevice and then we're gonna come right back all the way up here. I think it might be this crevice here actually. Let me let me just check if it's this one, level B8. Yep, this is the one. Okay, so let's grab this chest here. And that's a chrono crystal. Now I'm just gonna head I'm gonna head this way and grab that rocky spot. That's all the way down here. Uh, the one that's on the wall there. 
Okay, so let's uh, smash this one open. That's uh, Densinium, Densinium, and Thunderball. Now I'm just gonna avoid these guys because I don't want to get into battle. And grab this chest here. And this is a brain drainer. Okay. So now let's head all the way back around. Avoiding the enemies, unless you want to, uh, unless you need to add them to your beastry, but, but I don't think you really need to at this point. You probably already have all the monsters by now. So we'll go all the way down here. And we're just heading all the way back to the entrance where the Crevis was. Okay, so now we're back on the spiral staircase once you grab that brain drainer. And we're heading all the way, all the way up this time. Passing all these areas that we've already explored. Okay, we have to go further up. I, th I think we were on level B6. Yeah, here's where we were, where this Greystone was. Okay, so we can examine that. And let me see if I need to go up further. Well, I can, but first we're going to explore this way. So let's make a left turn. There's a Sparky Spot right in front of us. Let's grab that one. Okay, that's R4 Amethyst. And now we're going to go through this uh, crevice. And I'm going to avoid these guys. Oh! I feel like we've already been here. Alright, let's head all the way up here, just, just to double check. Wait, maybe not. Uh, I don't think we have been here. Okay, let's head all the way straight. Oh, this is where we're supposed to go, apparently. Something tells me we've found our special ore. You have got to be kidding me! Uh, honey, are you okay? I'm more than okay. Do you know what this is? It's Oricalcum. Do you have any idea how much this stuff is worth? Oricalcum? Well, well. I've read about it in books, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Are you sure, laddie? Am I sure, he asks? You bet I am. I steal valuable stuff for a living, remember? This is it. The rarest metal in the world. I wish Mia was here to see this. So this is the ore we were looking for. <laughs> I should have guessed. Imagine what a fortune you could make with a lump this big. Uh, sorry. Got a little carried away there. Don't worry, I get it. This here ore is strictly for sword making. Hmm. We're one step closer to making that sword, but we've still got a way to go. Let's hit the road. Okay guys, so once you grab the ore, we're gonna continue right back to the spiral stairs. Okay, we're back here. We're back at the entrance here. Make sure you grab that sparky spot in there. And then we'll proceed all the way up here now. It looks like we're gonna need to find another dragon rider so we can grab the sparky spot that's above us. Right behind us there. We can't get it yet. We need a flying mount, just like we did earlier. So right now we're just gonna go this way. We're on level B6 right now. Ah! Here's one. There we go. We got it. I think I should be able to fix them all up for the Marder Slash now. Let's see. There we go. Now let's ride that thing. Oh, Henry got level 55. Excellent. Here. Uh, there's a Sparks spell right in front of us. So I'm gonna grab that really quick. That's a Royal Ruby. And let me see what's over here. Is it a crevice? Nope, it's a... Oh, here we go. So that just leaves right here. And here's that flying place that I wanted to get. Right over here. So you just you just leave with the Dragon Rider and you just go all the way around here. And that's a Mithra Ore. I've already killed that thing for my beastery. 
Okay, so we almost have everything here. We're almost done with this place. Okay, so once you guys entered this above, this one here and grab that sparky spot where the killing machine was, or over killing machine, whatever, we're gonna we're gonna enter these, this one here now, the one right beside, right beside it to the west, west side. Watch you don't get invaded by this one. Trying to avoid it. Okay, and this is a recipe book entitled "Brace Yourself." And we can learn Life Bracers, Mighty Armlets, and Brainy Bracers, Spirit Bracers, and Restoratives. Okay guys, so we've officially collected every item. So let me just land this dragon here. Dismount. And we got our ore, we got all the items, so let's teleport to Arborea. Okay, I'm just teleporting here so I can save my game. Remember that side quest that I told you guys in the last episode? I still... We are very shortly going to start this side quest. All I have to do is teleport to Galopolis. There's going to be a cutscene that plays there, and then I'm going to teleport here. I'm going to grab this quest, tell and then we'll... Actually, I'm going to grab this quest before I start the before I teleport to Galopolis. Because once we teleport to Galopolis, we're going to grab the quest item immediately, and then, and then teleport right, right back here. So I'll see you guys in the next episode, and thanks for watching.